Hallo, Didier Stevens hier, senior handler at the Internet Storm Center. I wrote a diary entry about uh, analyzing log FMT files with uh, Cyberchef and I uh, also made a video for it. Now I'm going to do about the same but with one of my tools and because I usually don't use Cyberchef to analyze log files like this, I use uh, my own tools and I only use Cyberchef when I cannot use my own tools for uh, that case. Tool that I'm using here is uh, Interactive Sieve. It's a .NET program that I've been uh, developing for many, many years, and it allows you to uh, visualize uh, comma separated uh, files, uh, information files, with all kinds of options. Now the separator can be chosen here, uh, so comma, but here, since I'm using that log FMT format, I'm going to say that there is no separator. So there will be only one column with a complete line and also that there is no header. Like this. Now, here I have the complete log file and um, it's 168 megabytes gzip compressed. Uncompressed, it's about uh, one gigabyte. And if you would load that everything into Interactive C, it would be, it would be way too slow. So the thing you can do is you can not only load a log file and it may be gzip compressed and uh, my tool will decompress it, but you can also load it with a filter. And so it will only load lines that match that filter. You have a normal filter and you have a regex filter. I'm going to do load with a filter of the log file here. And now I just type the IP address that I'm interested in. So uh, without source IP or anything, just that IP address. That will take uh, some time. Okay, so that was almost a minute. Let's expand the column here. Okay, and now here you see all of the lines that have been selected because they contain that IP address, uh, source IP address 106. So that is the filtering that has been done. Now let's see what other source IP addresses we, we also have here because this could be, for example, also a destination IP address. And here I'm only interested in uh, source IP addresses of that value. So notice there are 5182 lines that have been uh, filtered out, out of a gzip file with millions of, uh, of lines. So that's a very small amount to handle by my tool Interactive Sieve. So now I'm going to run a regular expression here on this lines here, regex matches. And I'm going to say source IP equals and then anything, any character that is not a space character. Okay, so and I do see I have this as a source IP address, what I wanted, and also just with a one. Okay, so not much 74. Now I could say, I could select this here and say hide, to hide those uh, lines that I'm not interested in, but unfortunately this would also hide these lines uh, because it's exactly uh, the same except for the 06 so I'm not going to do that I'm going to do it a bit differently I will select for example this line right click and then use sift but I'm going to already let it populate with the complete line here so that I can say I don't have to type it I just can use what was pre-selected I'm going to sift for source IP equals this value. And any line here, that's the operation I'm going to do, any line that doesn't contain that string, I will hide it. So we have 5182, hide. And now we have 5108 lines that are visible out of a total of 5182. So if I run the regex matches again, Okay, this is the only source IP address I have. 
Now let's have a look at the destination IP address again with regex match. So destination IP and these are the destination IP addresses. Private IP addresses and public IP addresses. I can hide, for example, the private IP addresses, select hide, and now I'm only left with the public destination IP addresses. Protocol UDP here, so let's check what other protocols we have. Like this proto. UDP seems to be the only one. Let's check the destination port. Destination port 53. Service. Now, if you had a CSV file, of course, you would not have to type, e have to type each time that uh, field. You could just select the corresponding column, the service. But here we have another format, but you can still take a look at it with my tool Interactive Sieve. Okay, service DNS. Okay, and then we also have different entries, origin, underscore, bytes, uh, and so on. So let me shift for that too. Oh, well, sorry do a regex match. So we want bytes and it may be preceded with any character that is not a space character. Also I'm going to use an asterisk because it doesn't have to be the case, just one zero or more like this. And then we have these values, all these values and a couple stand out here quite large 500 so for example I can select them color them in red and then for example take a look at these lines and look at them in more detail